Hi everybody, my name is Nacho Riesco. I am a digital sculptor from Spain, mainly focusing on organic jewelry designs. And I'm gonna explain to you how to split a model, a model into parts for assembling any assembling reasons. And the problem that we have here is that the, where the mess is already decimated. So I'm gonna split the head from the body using this sculpt this pro as first step so using the smooth brush and um, with the sculpt this pro so next first step to take is to start smoothing the area where we want to apply the cut here for example following the contour you can see what you are doing you are tessellating the surface of of that area so once we are done so we will get something like this a more dense mess on some areas so next step now is to start painting the mask so with the mask pen i like to set this up to minus 100 and using the lazy mouse to start painting the mask creating the border of the two parts of the two pieces so following using the surface that we were tessellating before so till getting something like this so following the path where we want to apply the cut once we are here what we can do is Control w to create a new poly group and now Control shift and tapping the here we can go to polygroups and auto groups and now we have three different polygroups polygroup number one number two and number three we are going to merge the polygroup number one and the polygroup number two so i gotta i gotta tap here invert the visibility and control w now so now we have two different polygroups so what we're going to do now is to before start splitting the two polygroups using the, the split and group split option i'm going to use this control shift and tap here i'm going to shrink the mess a bit you can find this button here visibility shrink one two times maybe and now i'm going to split hidden and now close holes you can find the close holes button here geometry modify topology and close holes and now you will get this non-regular border between on the on the edge what we can do to avoid this is going to masking using the mask by groups feature now we have a mask applied applied on the border let's grow the mask a bit invert the mask and now we can go to deformation and start as policing by features like this and policing and there you go so here we have one element and this is going to be the another one let's go close holes and repeat the same operation as before masking let's go to masking mask by groups grow the mask invert the mask and the formation polish by feature and now we have this is going to be one part and this is going to be another part so now we have the model is split into two parts which both fits together so hope you find this useful and thanks for watching bye